Hello my friends, this is Michael with the Wobnik channel. Today I'm talking about how to upgrade this laptop here. I got it from a customer. It is an older machine. It is the HP 2000-C32NR. Even as this machine here was new, it was more a middle-of-the-road laptop, uh, maybe less than that. Yeah, it has 4 GB of RAM, an AMD CPU, uh, so it's not really a great laptop. By the way, the customer has put here this Apple logo uh, thing on, on the laptop. It wasn't me, and it is not an Apple computer, it is an HP computer. Well, what can we do with this laptop? Is it worth it to upgrade? Well, when you have this computer still sitting around in your house and it is in, in good working con condition, I would say yes, it is upgradable. Yeah, as I said, it comes with four gigabytes of RAM. It is one four gigabyte RAM stick in the machine. There's a second slot empty, so you just can easily add a second four gigabyte RAM stick in order to upgrade it to eight gigabytes, which is the max for this com computer. Furthermore, this computer has a 320 uh, gigabyte hard drive, which is for today's circumstances rather low. And I suggest to replace this 320 gigabyte hard drive with an SSD, maybe a 500 gigabyte SSD. Yep, something like this here. The Western Digital Blue, which costs right now at uh, Amazon $64.95, so it is a real good deal. Yeah, The SSD will really give this old machine a second lease on life. I have seen online that this computer sells for about $200 refurbished, which means it should be in pretty good condition, but still it is old technology. I would not recommend that you buy such a, this laptop here. $200 is just too much. Should you get this computer for $50 or maybe $100 tops, yeah, buy it and then upgrade it, uh, upgrade it like I will show you in a few minutes here. This laptop here is very easily upgradable. Yeah, you can see here, here are two maintenance doors, which means you don't have to take off the whole back here and maybe move uh, the motherboard. Here are two access doors, which will make your life so much easier. First, you have to remove the battery because there is a screw you have to get rid of in order to open these doors. Yeah, you just slide here, take the battery out. Here you see, it's all gone. Here is now the empty slot and the battery, uh, not the battery, uh, the screw is located here. Just take a little Phillips screwdriver and take the screw out. Okay, very good, we have that. And now just lift the door up here on this notch with the screw. Ah, and here you see it. Here it is. Here is the uh, slots with the RAM. And here it is, one gigabyte, one four gigabyte uh, memory stick. And then here is another, well, trust me, there is another empty slot. You just add another four gigabytes and then you have a total of eight gigabytes, which is today really the minimum. Today you should not have anything below eight gigabytes. So just put another four gigs in and you are done. Let's add some more RAM to this laptop. As I said, here is one uh, slot available. Let's see if I have some 4 GB RAM. Well, here is my RAM chest. As you can see, RAM, hard drives, RAM, NVMe, uh, SSDs, everything is here. Hynix is too big. Yeah, you cannot use these kind of uh, RAM for the laptop. It's just too big. Doesn't fit. Okay, what do we have here? Crucial, Kingston, two gigabytes, PC3. Yep, nope, it's not big enough. What do we have here? 
8 Gigabytes. This is too much. Another little one. What is that? 4 Gigabytes. DDR3. Hmm. This is DDR3L. I'm not sure if this will fit. What is that? Here is 4 Gigabytes. Uh, DDR3. All right, let's use this one. Let's take it out of the box. Yeah, here it is. So, you can only put this RAM stick in, into one uh, certain way so that nothing goes wrong here. So, let's just add this one. The angle is a little bit stupid here I'm working on. But everything for you guys. Everything. Ah, it clicked. And now you can see it stands a little bit up. Now you press it down gently. Gently. You heard the cluck. And when you hear the cluck, the second stick is in and everything should be okay. Now you should have here on this laptop 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now we are opening the next door, which is this one here. There's here one screw and there is one Philips screw. So please remove these screws. Number one. Number two. And now just lift off the uh, door. Ah, there it is. Here is the old hard drive. It's easy to, uh, to remove. Let's show it better. Here it is easy to remove and you just replace it with a uh, nice 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive, uh, SSD. Let's take out this old hard drive here. Uh, there are no screws. The hard drive is encased in this rubber frame in order to keep it down and safe from a vibration. So you just, you see this thing here? You just lift it up a little bit. Yes, there it is. Be very careful. Please be careful because when you rip out this little cable here, you are in trouble. Carefully remove this plug here, the SATA connector and the power connector. Be careful, be careful. Yep, there it is. It's a short cable, but now you have the old hard drive out. Remove this blue rubber frame. Be careful. Don't rip it. So that's it. And now you put in the new hard drive. Ha! See? Fits perfectly. This is now the uh, bumper for the uh, new hard drive. And you connect the SATA and the power, again, be careful, be careful. And this, yep, that's it. Now put it in here. Yeah, just push it down gently, very gently. Push it down, and that's basically it, yeah. Please don't forget to add here a second four gigabyte chip, but that's basically it. And now, just close the doors again, just Push it down, gently, push it down, gently. It clicks a couple of times with the Phillips screwdriver. Fasten the screws. Down here are two. Where's the other door? The other door is here. Yeah, press it down, press it down. Here, yeah. yeah, okay. Now we screw this one in. Good. Now the battery, and that's it. This is the upgrade of this HP laptop. Pretty easy, isn't it? Here it is, my friends. The laptop is working fantastic. It has now much more performance. I added four gigabytes of RAM, and I replaced the old hard drive with a new 500 gigabyte Western Digital SSD. Yeah, the whole cost for the hardware upgrade is below $100. I cannot tell you exactly. Prices changing every day. 
but for under a hundred dollars to upgrade an existing HP 2 or 2000 is fine. You will have lots of fun with it. You can have uh, your children play with it and so on. Yeah, now the computer has a second lease on life. All right, my friends, this was it for today. This is Michael on the Wupnik channel. I will see you in one of my next videos. And please don't forget to like this video and please subscribe. Well, have a wonderful weekend. I will have a great weekend. I will spend it with my wife. And uh, yeah, be well and be positive. Okay, bye-bye.